who have made us one people. The group gathered at Conkling Street Garden to pray and to honor the lives of two men killed in southeast Baltimore less than a week apart. It's very dangerous for me to know that I presented here for the loss of my brother. Florman Tenjo Mendez's brother Fabian Mendez was hit by his own car on April 2nd after investigators say three people carjacked him and dragged him several blocks. A 16-year-old boy was arrested and is now charged with murder after, according to police, officers found the teen driving the vehicle two blocks away. Mendez moved to the U.S. when he was 14 and worked hard to pursue the American dream. I can see that my brother has a lot of friends. He was a good person and he worked very hard to take care of our families and uh, here in the United States and also uh, back home. Marcus Wilson was killed on March 29th when someone stabbed him several times on South Conkling Street. Wilson's five-year-old daughter witnessed the attack. Family and friends say he was a devoted father. Marcus was a very good dad to my baby niece. Solamente quiero decir que Marcus era un buen padre para mi sobrina. And he did not deserve what happened to him. We will get that. The group walked the neighborhood, stopping to pray at the memorials to Mendez and Wilson. Councilman Zeke Cohen, who represents that district, said he's concerned about a rise in violent crime there over the past several months, particularly against Hispanic community members. Whether you are black or white, Asian or Hispanic, born in Highland Town or Honduras, you belong in this city and we need you here. Police are still looking for suspects in both murders. The violence needs to stop. People need to get together. People see stuff and they're scared to report it. Y'all need to start keeping up for this community. You see something, say something. Don't be scared. Kai Reed, WBAL TV 11 News.